afternoon friends I just wanted to make a quick video uh, to let you know that hopefully by now everyone has had a chance to look over the um, information that I shared on a video last night and also information that I shared coming into work today <clears throat> and I had uh, the TV station that I've been on several times uh, the dear lady she called me and asked me if I could come back and share the information that I have uh, made in that video of last night so I told her absolutely I would love to and I also shared with her you know how successful the love letters are becoming the first time I was on her show a little over a year ago her TV show uh, that was the first things that I, sh I shared with her as the program began was the love letters and uh, of course you know she thought that was a pretty neat idea well of course we've got uh, as of the, today, you know, over 4,000 love letters have been uh, mailed out, and we have 215 love letter soldiers. Even have young, young men, and uh, I'm sure there's possibly some young girls helping their parents with this. Uh, uh, Ken, a brother of mine, has his. Uh, son all excited about passing out love letters and I just think that is just <laughs> that's just great I mean there's no better way to to show a child what it's all about than to let them take time away from their activities and do something for another human being that's of a extremely positive uh, thing to do. Letting them know that they're loved, God loves them, and, and He wants them to accept His great salvation through Jesus Christ. So I'm all excited that so many are joining and helping us with the passing out of the love letters. So, of course, I told Dorothy, just picking at her, I said, you know, um, I won't bring those charts uh, <laughs> that, that I would make some really nice charts like I, I did before. She said, oh, of course. And uh, anyway, so I'm looking forward to that. And she wants us to also discuss who possibly could be the Antichrist and of course we won't know that until we're gone so we've got a lot that we're going to get to discuss uh, hopefully I'll be able to go up there of course the first week of um, September you know I, I don't I mean I'll just have to see how my schedule works out but anyway, I just thank you for all your, your help in sharing this word. Uh, even on Facebook, um, the, the, the video there has reached over a thousand views and 20-something uh, sh uh, shares. So to me, that's, that's viral. <laughs> I think the highest any of my Facebook video is Facebook videos that I've uploaded has been maybe around 400 views but for this one to hit a thousand within like a day I mean that that's really good so um, I, I'm glad to see that people are excited about the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and I'm glad to see that people are sharing the information and very glad that people want to help in reaching the lost through our ministry of love letters. You know, that's the way that Jesus taught the disciples 
how to minister. To go out two by two. You know, go out two by two. He didn't teach them to go out and build a church and go rent a, a building and, and call the masses. He sent them out into people's homes. And, and th there's no better way to minister than one-on-one. -on -one. You know, I've said it before. Uh, whew, that's a terrible bump. Shook the place. But anyway, I mean, could you imagine? I live here in America, of course. And, and let's just say uh, here in America, there's 200. No, excuse me. Let's say there's 20 million Christians. And of course, there's more than that professing. But what if 20 million Christians made it a point to go out and reach 30 people in a month with the gospel? Oh my goodness, y'all do the math. How many millions would that be? You know, 20 million times 30 is what, 600 million? I mean, you would have people say, uh, I've already been given a love letter or I've already been uh, told that God loves me. Three people's already told me that. I mean, you know, that's what it takes to change the world, people. It takes you and me going out one-on-one. One-on-one. -on -one. One -on -one. That's, that's, that's the way it began and and the way things are now, that's the way that we should do it. You know, the the thing with going to church, if you truly think about it, when you go to church Sunday, I, I, this is a test. When you go to church Sunday, I want you to look around at the congregation. Tell me how many new faces you see in your church or let me say this how many people in your church are new because someone invited them you know you could go up to a stranger and says glad glad you visited us yes says uh, who invited you oh nobody invited me I've just uh, been wanting to come by I'm telling you a pastor should equip those in his congregation to be witnesses of the Lord Jesus Christ a pastor should compel his congregation to go out and invite people to come to church I believe that I, I mean that that's what it's all about friends it, it, it is it is all about salvation if you don't believe it why did Jesus Christ come he came for salvation he didn't come to make us rich he didn't come to build us a, a, a mansion. This world is not our home. This world is not our home. You know, I, I'm going to tell you something. I have friends that will post on Facebook. Now, you, now hear me out now. I'm not, I'm not condemning nobody, but you have friends, and I do too, that will post on Facebook, my wife just bought me a brand new truck, or God bless me and I just bought a brand new car, or God answered our prayers, we're moving into the new house Thursday. How many people post on there something like this? God 
bless me today by allowing me to, to bring someone into the acceptance of the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't see that. You see people post on social media how to bake a cake or what they ate for lunch. But you don't see anybody posted on there, praise God, I was able to lead my fellow worker to the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't see that. Because we are so earthly minded that that those things are so important to us. And I'm not saying that that stuff's wrong. But what I am saying, we're supposed to be busy witnessing for the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, in Timothy it says that in the last days, people will love themselves and love their money more than God. It says that they will love pleasure. They will be lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. You want to see a, a room get filled up or a stadium get filled up? You let somebody that is a professional entertainer whether it's through they whether they you know tell funny jokes or sing music even some pastors can fill up a, a stadium because everybody knows they're going to tickle your ears but you let someone announce that they're going to be preaching the blood of Jesus. They're going to be preaching sanctification and be preaching the baptism of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> You'll be lucky to fill up a room, let alone a stadium, with that information. Because the days in which we live in you know, everybody's talking about the great falling away. Uh, friend, <laughs> we are in the great falling away. Now, some translations, you know, will allude to that the falling away is the snatching away. And, and that could be because that word can be translated either a falling away or a snatching or a removal. You know, if you fall away from something, then you're no longer there. <clears throat> but if you're removed from it, then you're no longer there. So anyway, the fact remains that a sign to look for knowing that we are in the, the the last of days is the falling away and there's there's two fallings away there's gonna be uh, the falling away of leaving the truth of God's Word and turn aside to fables and that's what's happening Christians have left the sincere word, the truth of God's word, and have turned aside after fables, after storytellers, things that tickle your ears. And the church has become a place of entertainment rather than a place of prayer where you get on your knees at the altar and you ask God for revival. You ask God 
for the souls of lost people where you ask God to save your city to save your town to show himself in a mighty way where you live to show himself a mighty way among your friends we don't pray those prayers no more, do we? I don't think so. Only a few, my friend. We are in the falling away. And very soon, we are going to be snatched out of this earth. I mean, the, the signs are all, the signs are all here, friends. The signs are all around us. And what's so great about that? It just goes to show just how close we are to going home. We are about to go home. God bless you.